since 2016, when we became more aware of the threat of disinformation, in particular in the foreign policy sphere, we've we've seen some social media platforms wake up to that threat themselves. They have made changes. Uh, they've started to take down foreign disinformation campaigns. They've begun to be more transparent about their takedowns. And they've started in some cases to work with law enforcement uh, in the United States in order to take down disinformation campaigns, particularly ahead of elections. But there is a lot more that remains to be done. And at the crux of this problem and this challenge is the idea, again, that Disinformation is quite lucrative for many of these platforms. Uh, Facebook, for example, doesn't fact check its advertisements, meaning that you can pay for an ad that is demonstrably false during an election season to be spread online. Uh, Facebook will gladly take your money and target that ad toward people who are going to find it most appealing. Um, and in order to stop that cycle, Facebook would need to put its own economic interests um, under the interests of our democratic system. And that's that's where regulation has to come into play, I think. Um, we have for too long allowed the social media industry to self-regulate. And I like to compare it to the airline industry or, uh, or the automobile industry. Um, Early on in the you know early days of the automobile, we didn't have seat belts, we didn't have windscreens, we didn't have speed limits, but slowly we introduced all of those safety mechanisms so that you can drive safely around the United States. And we need something similar with social media. We're still in the early days of the automobile to continue that, uh, to continue that comparison, but we need some guardrails on this highway, the information highway. Um, and I don't think it is uh, beyond the pale to think that government would institute those guardrails. And I'm, again, not talking about things like certain information being removed. What I would like to see more of is transparency about how advertisements are targeted at people, about how algorithms are driven to encourage people to engage with the most enraging content or the most emotional content and why, why they're being targeted with certain um, certain pieces of content in their news feeds. And I would love to see more transparency about uh, generally what's going on under the hood. Right now, researchers like me uh, have to go through all sorts of hoops in order to understand what is going on on these social media platforms by and large. Um, and I think that it would be a lot better for our democracy if these platforms were compelled to share some of that information, pseudonymized so that people's privacy is protected, but so that researchers and journalists and regulators can understand the effect, the true effect that these platforms are having on our public discourse and our democracy. So those are the main things that I think um, we should see a little bit more of transparency around advertising, around algorithms and around everything else that's going on on the platforms under the hood, because so much is happening privately that we don't get a look at. Um, and that can lead to offline effects, not only effects on public health, but effects on public safety, as we saw on January 6th, 2021.